But Jim, let me ask you about something that has been sent in by several people. Let me try to sum things up. Dax Harwood recently made some comments about AEW, about the issues with CM Punk. He said positive things about CM Punk. He encouraged the EVPs to find a way to get past everything so everyone could work together. Word has now gotten out that through Dave Meltzer that there are people upset in the locker room. The about pipeline. These... The pipeline. People are upset about this. What are your thoughts? Well, again, do you have the comments that he made because there was nothing inflammatory? He said, hey, he said Punk was a a big star and brought a bunch of eyeballs to our show and was, you know, kind and easy to work with in his experience. And he wishes that everybody could get on the same page somehow for business and all get back together, whether or not that's possible or whether or not any of those people want to do that or not. That's beside the fact he didn't say anything in, he didn't say anything near what we've said. He didn't say anything near what he could say. If he wanted to be honest about his treatment and the treatment of other people in AEW, he could have really lit some asses on fire. He's still playing nice. That's the thing a lot of people don't get. But, you know, but what he said was not inflammatory at all. Hey, that's actually, if I was the boss of the company, if I was Tony Khan, and any wrestler said to me, well, what do I say in public when questioned about this issue? Say, well, boy, it'd be great if everybody could sit down and work out their differences and get along and come back and make money. That would be the thing that I would want you to say. So that's what he said. And now, according to Uncle Dave, some of the people in the locker room are upset about that. I wonder who those people would be. Could it be Mr. Jericho, who it's pretty public now that he went to Tony Khan and said, CM Punk is a cancer and should never be in this company again, and I'll do anything to stop him from coming back, and he's told the boys that. Because he's the one, one of the ones getting that out, because it benefits his position if Punk is not there, and it benefits his position if he's on the side of all of the EVPs. But there was nothing inflammatory in Dax Harwood's comments whatsoever. They could... A bunch of people got on him week before last, I guess, because he said, hey, if Jim Cornette has an opinion, he's earned the right to give it because he's been in this business 40 years and excelled at everything. Well, that's actually maybe a little more inflammatory than talking about punk, but not much because it's still true. Just like what he said there. It'd be nice if everybody could work it out. They won't, but it'd be nice if they could. So. Again, what kind of mind control big brother environment are they fostering over there when you can't even make a nice professional remark in public about people that you work with or you get half the locker room pissed off at you? But if you get on Twitter and cut promos on each other for a shoot not working, or getting a fight for real, not one of the five fake ones they have every week back in the locker room. Well, that's okay. Because apparently that's okay because nothing bad ever happens from it. I, where's Andre? He's home getting a check because he punched Sammy in the face. So <laughs> After being told, Wait. even if you do that, you won't be fired. Yeah, we ain't going to fire you. Well, that, that was like here. Let me hold your coat while you punch this motherfucker in the face. They actually said to him, we're not going to fire you because we know that's what you want. So you can go back to the WWE. So we're not going to fire you. We're going to send you home, but we got to keep paying you. I don't get that. Don't... Can we just stop there? I yes. don't understand that at all. If you have a guy who doesn't want to be working for you, that you're paying more money than he's probably worth in the United States right now. And he doesn't want to be there. It's not going to hurt you for him not to be there. You just won't be paying him. It won't make you look bad when he shows up somewhere else. You kind of see what his ceiling is. 
no difference to your business whatsoever, whether he's there, whether he's in WWE, whether he vanishes off the face of the earth. Not one dime difference in your bottom line. I get not wanting to. I shouldn't even say not wanting it to be, not wanting it to appear like WWE is getting one up on you. But fuck it, just cut him. Let him go. Well, but the point is, you well, can't I don't be understand professional why that... in public. Yeah. Okay. But you you can you can't you can't be professional in public. You can instigate backstage fights. The EVPs can get involved in them. You can punch people in the face. You can knock them on Twitter. You can call people motherfuckers on TV on national cable, whatever. But heavens to Murgatroyd, do not be professional and make a comment like, can't we all just get along? Or elsewise, the goddamn half of the locker room that is preventing the company from being anything bigger than what it is or ever will be because of them will crucify you and tell Uncle Dave you're a a bad person because you don't like their fucking group of friends.